Hi, I'm Ann Borgat, the Ward 5 City Councilor, and welcome to Ward 5 and 10. Today is Tuesday, April 9th. The Red Sox are doing their opener as I speak. It's about 40 raw degrees out. It's hard to believe it's really spring. But that's going to change, fortunately, and a lot of things are going to be taking place in the weeks to come. Again, I'm Ann Beauregard, the Ward 5 City Councilor. I can be reached at A Beauregard, B-E-A-U-R-E-G-A-R-D, at C-O-B-M-A dot U-S, or at 774-297-4939. What's the deal? What's happening? All right. Again, you are always invited to meetings that are taking place in this city, the governing body, whether it's the Library Board of Trustees or the Traffic Commission or the Zoning Board, Conservation, and it, the list goes on. They're your meetings. They're talking about your community. They're making decisions about your community. And remember, you own this. Okay. So what is everybody getting ready for? Spring. They're getting ready for Keep Rotten Beautiful Day, Saturday. April 13th, you can clean up anywhere you want or you can go and pick up supplies at Heights Crossing and then go to lunch at 12 noon. People will be there starting at 8 o'clock to pick up items to help turn around and clean up your area of your community. I'll be downtown for a little while and trying to pick up around there. We're hoping things are going to start uh, turning around for downtown. We're very excited about the luxury apartments. Granted, they're in War II, but we're very pleased that someone has come up with that initiative to enhance downtown some more. I want to make sure that I don't forget to say, everybody, let's have a safe school vacation. We want all the kids to be safe. Fortunately, it's staying out light for longer. It's getting out lighter a little bit in the morning. And what's going to happen? Well, we have the holiday on Monday. Remember, libraries closed, city hall, etc. And it's Patriots Day. But there's a whole lot going on with Little League starting and soccer, spring soccer, and the kids' road races Saturday, April 27th. So everybody, there's all kinds of fun things for people to do. Let's not forget all the free programs that is going to be at the library the week of school vacation. Give them a call, go online, www.brockdenpubliclibrary.org, and check it out. Hey, it's always fun to have a good time. When it's free, it's even more. Okay, so yard waste pickup has begun, and there sure has been a lot of it with a rough winter season. So that's it. Start raking those leaves, those branches, etc., and they're coming to pick them up for a while to come. And I will say that they can't believe how much there is, so sometimes they're backed up a little bit of a day, okay? So a lot of people are doing some, you know, cleaning, et cetera, and you need to call at some points for large items. So don't forget to consider that. And, uh, you know, like I said, keep rotten beautiful every day and not just Saturday, April 13th. All right, what else do I want to talk about? Um, there's activities, like I said, all over. Oh, dog licenses. You want to get your dog registered and be safe, so God forbid you lose your pet, that, that people can begin searching for the dog and also know about some other things. You know, should your dog um, you know, be uh, updated with um, all the shots and everything else. So we want to keep people and pets safe in this community. Again, my name is Ann. I can be reached at aboregard at cobma.us or at 774-297-4939. As I always say, please join us for our meetings for Finance Committee and City Council because we're finally back where we belong at City Hall in City Council Chambers. 7 p.m. The next meeting will be on Tuesday, April 16th, and we're going to have a very special guest, actually. Former treasurer of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Steve Grossman, will be here to talk about a new initiative he has to help people that want to start their own business. So how cool is that? Do you ever have a dream about doing something or you're trying to get there? Maybe you're retired and you're saying, hey, I want to do something else. Or maybe you just want to change the way things are and you want to try something new. So this is an opportunity for you. Come and check it out. All right, let's see here. Oh, I know. Something else you can check out is you can check out DW Field Park, our own National Historic Site. 
as they're trying to, um, the garden club will be there working very hard on Saturday, that 90 year old garden club, might I remind you, and plugging along here to enhance the park because it has suffered too with the winter months. But I want to make, you know, remind people that that's your park and let's protect it and you can enjoy it during the spring months. The Fuller is free and there's a lot of activities there over school vacation. If you're lucky enough to bring, live in Broughton, you get to go to the Fuller for free. So take advantage of that. So I cannot highlight enough how many fun activities there are over the week. And you know vacations, they go by way too fast. I like, unlike some other things, like hard work. So, one of the things that people are always talking about, and I must bring, oh, I forgot, don't want to forget, this is also during Easter vacation, this is a lot of, well, spring vacation, and at Easter time, on April 20th, Saturday, free Easter egg hunt at the First Evangelical Lutheran Church inside their huge gymnasium. So come check that out. I believe it kicks off at one o'clock with all kinds of activities. Let's thank Lynn Smith for mobilizing that year number six. Uh, I didn't want to forget that. Okay, and there's a whole lot of community gardening stuff going on, and you want to find out more about it, visit the Community Gardens information and uh, you know, give me a call if you'd like to know. I can connect you up. The woman in charge, Vivian Senatori, she's amazing, and she's doing this all on her own time. There's all kinds of things you can do in this, this city, whether it's animals, whether it's sports, whether it's art, which I do want to remind you, the Driscoll Art Gallery has some great um, exhibits, and that's all free too. So again, I cannot remind you there's enough going on. Now let's talk business. Okay. Everyone is very frustrated with a lot of the illegal parking taking place, and justifiably so. It endangers your street, and it impairs emergency vehicles from getting down the street that if, should you need them. And we never want to need them, but boy, we want them to get there should, the need, you know, should it occur. So, 508-941-0200 is the non-emergency number for the police. You see cars parked illegally, give them a call and let them know because we want to continue implementing the fact that we don't want cars blocking driveways. We don't want cars blocking streets and we don't want suspicious cars left around and jeopardizing the safety of your community. We need to get a handle on this and the best way is to keep on calling the police. 508 941-0200, the non-emergency number. Should somebody be blocking your driveway, then yes, you need to call 911 because if you need to get out of your driveway, then you need to call them to see that that needs to be done. Again, we're trying hard here and I am announcing my ward meeting Tuesday, well I call it a community meeting for Ward 5, Tuesday, April 23rd, doors open at 6.30 p.m. at the Pluff Academy. Some of the things that are going to be presented, community policing. We're going to have uh, Officer Bill Healy there discuss a few things, one of them being illegal parking. We're also going to have a couple of you know, brief presentations on services in the city and other issues. We know there's a tremendous concern with uh, the Plymouth Street, Center Street intersection, and there's gonna be some discussion on that, letting people know what's going on with that, because believe me, we are concerned. We're going to talk about uh, so a little bit, um, uh, some other issues that are rising the streets and some misinformation because there's certainly plenty of that going on right now. Again, I'm being given the number one that I have one more minute and the number one request from you homeowners and it's justifiable is how bad our streets are just found this lying around from one of the streets. We're working very hard to do that and to do the best we can to get more funding in this community to get the streets paved. We encourage you to come to that meeting on Tuesday, April 23rd at the Plouffe Academy. There's plenty of parking in that parking lot right next door. You can stay for a little while. You can stay for the whole thing. Should get started about 10 minutes to 7. We encourage you to attend, to learn more, to speak up, express your concerns, and be empowered. Again, please join us anytime you can. Please have a really safe um spring vacation for all you kids and those of you that work with the school system. A uh, happy Easter, happy Passover, and please 
Remember, more kids out in the streets in the nice weather. Let's all be safe. I'm Ian Borgard, Ward 5 City Councilor, 774-297-4939, aborgard at cobma.us. Thank you.